thanks to Pro Speed Racing and Nvidia Exhaust for making this video possible. Stay tuned to the end of this video for a hectic discount. Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Science with Mr. Duel. This episode is going to be really big because I'm going to be installing. That. Let's go! I don't deny there's some strange evolutionary process going on, but mankind won't be destroyed. The fact that you and I are working here today is evidence of that. So I'm up in Summersby, it's about one and a half hours up north from Sydney at MSR Michael South Engineering. And this is where the previous owner tuned the car. And these guys are super specialists and if you check out their YouTube channel there's a heap of rallying stuff. They do rallying every year up until COVID. So my car is up there for a service. It's up for a service, I'm feeding the J-Pipe and it's also getting a tune and the reason why I'm up here is for the tuning right anyone can install the J-Pipe and all that stuff I can install it at home um, and the reason why I didn't install that at home is because it requires a tune and I have to drive one and a half hours up here I'm not going to drive something with a mod that needs a tune and the car doesn't have a tune because <laughs> I'll probably blow up the engine but here is MSR right. there's a vertical on it, there's a dump pipe on it boys are away at it. I was unable to film in the workshop for OHS reasons, so I left my GoPro in the corner for a time lapse. Because of this, I was unable to get a comparison between the stock and Nvidia downpipe, so I'll try to explain this through diagrams. Downpipes or dump pipes are the first section of the exhaust in a turbocharged car. Most people leave this part unmodified when changing their exhaust because moving to a larger diameter downpipe requires a tune. The downpipe bolts straight onto the hot side of the turbo and directs the exhaust gases through the exhaust system. Stock downpipes will have a catalytic converter which cleans the exhaust gases before they are expelled into the atmosphere. Of course, some people choose to go straight pipe all the way through, but this isn't recommended. One, because it's stupidly loud and sounds like crap. But two, the unfiltered exhaust gas smells really bad and will upset Captain Planet. Without getting too technical, the catalytic converter basically cleans the exhaust gases and converts the unburned fuel into CO2 and water using a bunch of metal catalysts. The downpipe that I installed has a high flow cap. Nvidia also offer a catalyst version which is only recommended for track use. The stock downpipe on this car is extremely restrictive. I think it's only about 2 inches wide. The NVIDIA J-Pipe is 3 inches. It's called a J-Pipe because the downpipe is shaped like a giant J. The NVIDIA product has a larger diameter compared to the stock and the smooth bends allow for the exhaust gases to flow much more freely with fewer restrictions and turbulence. Tiny, tiny, tiny stuff. Fit my whole hand around it. biggest restriction to make in power and free flow on air. The larger diameter means that the turbo can push out more air and because sound uses air as a vector, more air means more noise. And gosh, the turbos will sound so amazing. According to Michael at MSR who tuned my car, the NVIDIA dump pipe is the best for this car. Of course I agree and you may say that we're both biased because we love this Aussie brand but it's been engineered so well and it fits so perfectly. The diameter produces the perfect sound and it's not obnoxiously loud. Too large a diameter pipe and you start to lose out on the lower end of the rev range because the turbo has to work harder to push out that amount of air. Too small a diameter like the stock downpipe restricts the turbo from creating more air. 
It's like tipping a plastic bottle upside down and waiting for the water to come out. There is so much water in the bottle relative to the amount of water that can escape per second, essentially creating a bottleneck restriction so that we're able to drink from the bottle without any spillage or drowning our lungs in water. It's worth noting that different tuners will have different methods or preferences on how they like to tune cars. Most tuners will try to strike a balance between reliability and power for a conservative tune. Michael at MSR likes to keep it conservative to preserve the longevity of the engine, however pumps the torque quite a bit in the mid-range. Now that the downpipe has been installed, it's time for a tune. It sounds so good already and it's barely moved 10 meters.
it's been about three, four weeks since the upgrades and the updates to this car. Now, during my first drive home with the dump pipe, it was so loud, it was so droney, I thought it was going to be a big problem. I thought I was going to regret my decision. Since then, it's become a lot more quieter, and I think there are two reasons for that. The first one, I think, is because it was new metals, it hadn't been expanded, it hadn't been oxidated, it was brand new, so it was vibrating like crazy when the exhaust gases were going through it. And the second reason, I think, Now the second reason I think is because of the carbon buildup. Now there's carbon coming out of the back of the turbo and some of it builds up and sticks to the walls of the pipes and I think because of the buildup it's absorbing some of the sound waves which is why it's making it a lot more quiet. Now I've gotten rid of the emission motor intake as recommended by Michael at MSR. Two reasons, one because it's not the best design and two there's a turbo wind that comes with the dump pipe that sounds so much better than the intake in my opinion. <laughs> and it's crazy that turbo wind. Oh and that is probably highlight for me of this dump pipe, the turbo wide. And also that the downshifts are the Oh the downshifts are crazy. <laughs> now I'm going onto the freeway to get to work. I'm gonna punch it when I turn. And hopefully you'll hear. <laughs> it sounds bad. super obnoxious but fortunately that is not the case I had passengers in the car and we were speaking to each other normally without screaming so it's not bad there is drone however when you're on the gas going up the hill and you know when that happens when the drone comes it's quite unbearable so that's something to keep in mind if you're looking for this upgrade if you're just cruising like this though it doesn't really matter it's fine it's so talking, and this leads me onto the tune by Michael at MSR. It's crazy. Now, the stock car I think puts out about 150 kilowatts at the wheels. I don't know how much torque. Before I got this upgrade, the car was already tuned, and it was pushing about 170 kilowatts and maybe 550 newtons of torque at the wheels. With this new tune, it's a conservative tune, it's a very safe tune, but it's pushing out about 185 kilowatts at the wheels and 630 newtons of torque and boy does it pull. Again, thanks to Pro Speed Racing and NVIDIA Exhaust for making this video possible. Pro Speed Racing are 100% Aussie owned, they're 100% Aussie operated, and they are the parent company to NVIDIA Exhaust. They are the official distributors and importers of NVIDIA products to Australia, and they stock car mods for all Japanese and all European cars. It's a flat rate shipping fee of 
$15 around Australia. And if you're in Sydney Metro, you get same day shipping. It's crazy. Now Christmas is coming up. So if you want to treat your boyfriend, your girlfriend, your partner, your you know, whoever you want to treat, you will want to treat yourself. And if you use my code, you get 10% off store wide, except for Cobb and IAG products. The best thing about this code is that it will stack up on other existing discounts on their online store. So if there's 20% off on a specific product that you want and you use my code, you get an extra 10% off. And what more do you want? Merry Christmas to you. Now when you shop with Pro Speed Racing, you are supporting an Aussie company, you're supporting an Aussie business, and you're also supporting Science with Mr. Dua. If you like what you saw, please consider liking this video or even subscribing to the channel. It would mean a lot. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next episode.